So what you are trying to do is to present the um, uh, uh, to present a kind of intuitive feel for what your um, for what your idea is. It's almost that first part when we were talking about presenting your idea. We had the intuition and then the details, and I said at that time your talk may want to concentrate more on the intuition. So what you're trying to do in the talk is to give people an intuitive idea of what your idea is, right? So that they, they're absolutely keen to go and read the paper because they think, wow, that is a really cool idea. It's a, you know, a new method of garbage collection. And he has this clever idea for moving pointers around so as to save work. And I, that is really clever. I did understand something about it from the talk. And I really wish I could go and read the paper. So you want to make them you know, foam up the mouth with their eagerness to get to your paper. But what you don't want to do is to work systematically through the paper, presenting all the details, because that's that deadening. There just isn't time in a 30-minute talk. I'm here aiming at a kind of 30-minute slot, which is a typical conference slot, you know, an hour max. You very seldom get a whole morning, which you might give all the details of your paper. And you want them to go away being glad they came. Think about that, right? You want them to finish your talk and think, I'm glad that I was here for that talk. Not just it was good for me to be here, or uh, I've been exposed to something that, uh, which I wasn't exposed to. You want to make them think, I'm really glad I came. Um, so that means that it's, it's, it's not enough just to um, present the, uh, the um, raw technical material in a boring way. You have to actually strive to convey your enthusiasm to people. Okay, so that's what you're trying to do in the talk. 